and good afternoon and welcome back to Lud Henry Field here at Burrick High School as we are going into game three here of a best of three series as the Burrick Panthers took the last game. It's now one and one and we'll see what happens in game three as the Burwick Panthers take on the Springfield Bulldogs in the best of three series in the first round of the playoffs. And we want to welcome all of you in, no matter where you're watching, and we want to thank all of our sponsors. And of course, those include our title sponsors, State Farm Agents, John Cart, Carol Fos, and Dwayne Scott, AJ Doman, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram, Awapaho Litter Box Reynolds, Bayou Bend Health System, Conrad Shipyards, Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, GJ Curbside, Hallamar Shipyard, Intimore Incorporated, Oshner St. Mary Hospital, your local Taco Bell restaurants, Tash Action Clinic, Thibodeau Regional Medical Center, Walk On Sports Bistro in Thibodeau, Red Line Power Sports, St. Mary Golf and Country Club, and Bogey Free Golf. Hargrave Funeral Home, Game Day Pizza, Clean Sweep Janitorial, and the City of Berwick. We'll be right back here on the KQK Digital Video Network for Game 3. The first round of the playoffs is the Berwick Panthers hosts the Springfield Bulldogs. We'll be right back. Clean Sweep Janitorial is your locally owned, full-service commercial janitorial service serving our local area since 1997 and is a proud supporter of the Burwick Panthers. Clean Sweep Janitorial is licensed and insured and services commercial buildings, whatever your needs may be. Leave it to Clean Sweep. Call them today at 985-518-3723. Clean Sweep Janitorial says, go Panthers, and let's go for a clean sweep in the playoffs. So I switch my insurance to State Farm and get this. I talk to an actual State Farm agent who lives in my actual town and get this. My actual agent in my actual town gave me actual help with the coverage I needed. And get this. My actual agent in my actual town who gave me actual help actually knows my name. And get this. They actually say it's called service. Call State Farm agents John Cart and Carol Folson by Uvista and Dwayne Scott in Morgan City today. Tired of going to get a new car, only be told we sold it yesterday, or charge extra fees? Come on down to AJ Doman Chevrolet, South Louisiana's fastest growing Chevrolet dealership, where we make the customer our top priority. No credit, bad credit, we can help. We say yes when others say no. Come do business with a company that will be here today and tomorrow. AJ Doman Chevrolet, serving the area for 38 years at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. Looking for a dumpster rental company that's reputable and affordable? Awapaho Litter Box Rentals is a third generation company that has been locally owned and operated for 50 years and makes dumpster rentals simple, cost effective, and convenient. Awapaho provides the fastest service in town by using flexible scheduling and saves you money with no hidden surcharges. Call Awapaho Litter Box Rentals at 985 384 0703 and let them take your travel. Conrad Shipyard, serving Louisiana and the Gulf Coast since 1948, is celebrating 75 years in business in 2023. Core values of safety, quality, integrity, and craftsmanship show in our people and our products. With five modern and expansive shipyards located along the Gulf Coast in Louisiana and Texas, Conrad's portfolio includes a wide range of vessels built for commercial customers and the U.S. government. Conrad Shipyard is a proud supporter of our local athletes and wish them the very best on and off the field. State Farm agent Carol Fos tells us about his experience at Core Sports Performance. Zach and his team put together a very thorough individualized plan focused on nutrition, strength building, and weight loss, which completely eliminated the joint pains and muscle pains that I was having. So I lost over 101 pounds working with these guys in a little over two years. See what Core Sports Performance can do for you today, 985-384-1990. Ninety-nine. 
the city of Berwick congratulates their hometown Berwick High School Panthers. Known for its iconic red lighthouse on the riverfront, the city of Berwick features historic neighborhoods, new residential developments, and exceptional quality of life with well-developed recreational complexes, public schools that are some of the highest performing in the state of Louisiana, and an 800,000 acre backyard, the beautiful Atchafalaya Basin, and not to mention its friendly people. Go Panthers from the city of Berwick. Clean Sweep Janitorial is your locally owned full service commercial janitorial service serving our local area since 1997 and is a proud supporter of the Berwick Panthers. Clean Sweep Janitorial is licensed and insured and services commercial buildings whatever your needs may be. Leave it to Clean Sweep. Call them today at 985-518-3723. Clean Sweep Janitorial says go Panthers and let's go for a clean sweep in the playoffs and welcome back to Lud Henry Field as the Berwick Panthers are going to host the Springfield Bulldogs in game three of this best of three series we've got Betty Bowers and uh, Betty give us your take on the last game and what the Panthers need to do to take the last one. well you know uh, getting ahead early was really huge for Berwick I think it put a lot of pressure on the uh, Sterlington pitching staff. Uh, what I was told, Ray, was their uh, their ace pitcher, so I'm not sure who they're going to put on the mound for game three. But uh, uh, as far as Jason Matthews, I mean, he did a fabulous job. Complete game. Uh, didn't have very many walks, if he had any, that I could even maybe one. Uh, lots of strikeouts. His pitch count was very low. And uh, just I, I thought he did a phen phenomenal job on the mound. Uh, I believe we only have one error, which was uh, a throw to first base. And uh, But I thought Berwick, you know, they didn't let it affect them too much. And uh, defense played pretty good behind Matthews. And uh, I think that was the key to victory. Now you had a chance to catch up with Coach Artigo uh, just a few moments ago. Let's listen to what he's got to say. This is Robbie Bowers. I'm here with Coach Artigo and the winning pitcher from game two, Jason Matthews. Uh, just want to give a shout out to Jason. He pitched a complete game and uh, made an unbelievable play covering third base for an out. And uh, Jason, what was working for you today? Um, at first, my slider really wasn't on. And then throughout the game, we started calling it a little more and I kind of got the hang of throwing it. And my middle innings really helped me out coming out throwing that slider. They couldn't really hit it. And then at the end, my fastball, it was just, it was just there. Well, I know as a pitcher, it's always nice when you get on the mound and you already got a 2 nothing lead. That, that really helps when you, uh, your, your teammates get up there and put some runs on the board for you. Yeah, it does. I mean, as a pitcher, you're always supposed to stay confident, but when you have that, when you have a little bit of lead to help you out, you're up there and you're, you're, you're dialed in. Well, Coach, uh, who's going to take the mound for Game 3 for Berwick? Uh, we're going to go with Henry Ferguson. Um, he had a really good bullpen this week, and something in my gut just says that he deserves the ball. Uh, puts us in a situation to have our best defense out there as well. So uh, we feel really good about it. And then we got all the bullets in the gun because um, Jason did a great job for us today throwing a complete game. So we have everybody left to go and get the, the last one. All right. Well, good luck, fellas, and God bless. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Good job, bud. Tony. Betty, uh, of course, you had a uh, – that was a great conversation with them. And uh, – so, uh, Berwick Panthers, they hopefully they just come in ready to go. What, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be the same scenario. You know, try to get an early uh, lead. Of course, that will be the home game in game three. Uh, but it's always nice to uh, come out and get some runs on the board. And uh, hopefully uh, Henry will come out throwing strikes and uh, be efficient and keep his pitch count low and uh, let his teammates hit some runs in and play some defense behind him. All right. We'll be back in just a few moments here at Lud Henry Field at Berwick High School as the Berwick Panthers are getting ready to take on the Springfield Bulldogs in round three, the first round of the playoffs. It's State Farm High School basketball. I'm sorry, baseball. Baseball, baseball. baseball. Right here on 95.3 FM with the <laughs> KQKI Digital Video Network. 
David Carroll Fos tells us about his experience at Core Custom Sports design. Performance. Zach and his team put together a very thorough individualized plan focused on nutrition, strength building, and weight loss, which completely eliminated the joint pains and muscle pains that I was having. So I lost over 101 pounds working with these guys in a little over two years. See what Core Sports Performance can do for you today. 985-384-1999. Crank up the volume in your kitchen with Amplified Seasoning by Cedar Seafood. Now available locally from GJ Curbside. Amplified Seasoning will definitely amplify any meal. Choose from Amplified Seafood Boil, Blackened Seasoning, Hot Sauce, or Fish Fry. All created in South Louisiana using quality ingredients and now available from GJ Curbside. This is Eric Lynn. Please visit GJCurbside.com. From our curb to yours, GJCurbside.com. This is Von Richard, General Manager of Walk-On Sports Bistro in Thibodeau, back with some exciting news. Three new wing flavors have landed here at Walk-Ons, including Stingin' Honey, Gotcha Bane, and Mojito Lime. Choose your size from 8 or 12 bone-in or boneless wings and in your choice of flavor. Or go for the full-court sampler with all three new flavors. It's always game time at Walk-On Sports Bistro, located at 908 North Canal Boulevard in Thibodeau. Open from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. on weekdays and until midnight on the weekends. Walk-On Sports Bistro for the win! Golf is one of the most popular sports around. That's why Bogey Free Golf and St. Mary Golf and Country Club are together in your backyard in Berwick. Let Bogey Free Golf repair your clubs or set you up with a new set. Head out to play a round of golf on the best nine-hole course around at St. Mary Golf and Country Club. The best of both worlds are together in one location. Bogey Free Golf and St. Mary Golf and Country Club, located across from Berwick High School. Halimar Shipyard, locally owned and operated by the Hidalgo and Wiggins families, serves the marine industry by offering new construction, conversion, and repair services with top quality workmanship. Halimar Shipyard is founded on the principles and commitment of providing a safe work environment for their family of employees and being a leader and a supporter in our local community. Good luck to our local students and athletes from Halimar Shipyard in Morgan City. Intermore started in 1974 in Amelia, Louisiana as a small oil field services company providing personnel and equipment to serve the offshore drilling industry. Intermore is now one of the largest offshore oil field mooring companies in the world, but its local roots run deep with offices right here in Morgan City employing over 150 employees in their offshore fabrication and shore-based facilities. Intermore Incorporated is a proud supporter of our local schools and athletes and wishes them the best of luck in their endeavors. At Oshner, we understand that no one's health journey is the same. Whatever big or small health moments you may face, we're here for you. Our expert care teams are always pioneering new solutions for your health, offering innovative treatments close to home so that you can get back to doing what brings you the most joy in life. Oshner Health. Long live you. For more information, visit oshner.org slash longliveu. Hi, I'm Carla Vappi, the Director of Behavioral Health at Tesh Action Clinic. Now, more than ever, we must stop the stigma associated with mental health struggles because that stigma often keeps individuals from seeking help. You don't need a hashtag or a slogan to ask for help for yourself or someone you care about. For an appointment with a Tesh Action Clinic mental health provider at the clinic nearest you, visit tabhealth.org. If you think Taco Bell is only for late night, you are mistaken. Taco Bell is also for daytime, which is why it's introducing the new Cantina Chicken menu with new Cantina Chicken tacos, burrito, and quesadilla. And new ingredients like seasoned slow-roasted chicken, freshly prepared pico de gallo, shredded purple cabbage, and even a new avocado verde salsa packet. It's the Taco Bell for when it's not late night. Whoa, not just late night. Try the new Cantina Chicken menu now. The participating U.S. Taco Bell locations was applies last. Contact store for participation with spares. DoorDash delivery available. Welcome back here to Berwick. Lud Henry Field as we get ready for game three of the best of a three-game series. Of course, the 
Berwick Panthers. They fell in that first game, Betty, to Springfield by a score. Uh, or I'm sorry, they, uh, yeah, they fell in that first game, what three to two. Four to, uh, yeah, four to one, I believe. Four to one. Thank you. Game. Yeah, you did. So I just didn't have my papers in front of me, but uh, and then of course last game they come out, they win it three to two, and we're ready. We're ready for this game to get underway. So. That way we can see who's going to advance in the playoffs. Thank you, Brady B. You're welcome. If it had been a snake, it'd have bit you. That's right, huh? Right in front of you. A trip, yes, to, a trip to Caldwell Parish on the line. Yep, that's right. Up towards uh, Brady's neck of the woods. Yep. <laughs> At least my wife's neck of the woods. You're right. <laughs> She's from Gina. They go to Columbia. So, uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's a little north, right? Yes. That means I get we a free hotel. through there going our way to Monroe. Uh, correct. Haven't we, right Arlington there. and Woodnot? You're correct. Oh, okay. So that would be a pretty nice little trip. Yep. Yeah, exactly. For the Panthers to have to take. I would get a free hotel and some free meals. So yeah, I'm good. It. So y'all have fun up there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means me and you sleeping in the <laughs> truck, huh? <laughs> there we go. The pitcher for the Berwick Panthers. That is going to be Henry Ferguson. So Henry's going to get him a little. Uh, a little pitching in here, uh, Batty. Coltley Red up at the plate to start this game off. That is going to be a ball. One and oh, the count. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a shot over to the shortstop. Taken in, throwing to first, and getting the out was Crapel. Hey, well, it took a funny little bounce right before it got to Crapel, but he adjusted it really good. Yeah, sure did, huh? So it was a uh, ground out to shortstop. Nice. Pitch. This is uh, Will Sanders up at the plate. Oh, won the count. On Sanders. This is fouled back. Good job to get ahead 0 and 2 right there by Ferguson. So the count 0 and 2, one out. Here, final game of this series. Here's the pitch to Sanders. Oh, That's going to be a swing. That didn't foul. So the count will hold at 0 and 2. Good job by Lane back there to smother that pitch. Yeah, no doubt. So it looks like the order will stay the same. The batting order that we had from game two. This is going to be a shot to the pitcher, Ferguson, and flips it on over. To first base, and that is good for out number two. Panthers, uh, Panthers looking pretty good right now, huh, Betty? Yeah, it'd be nice to see Ferguson fall into that same groove that uh, Matthews was in game two. Yeah, that's right. Just throw strikes and play defense. It's Ridgedale up at the plate, the catcher, or. Springfield. This is going to go foul towards third base. Ridgedale went 0 for 3 last game. 0 1 the count. Two outs here, top of the first. Here's the pitch by Ferguson. This is going to be fouled back. Good job getting ahead of this batter as well, O2. Yeah, 
Here's the pitch. That's going to be high. One, two, the count on Ridgedale. Ridgedale. Pitch by Ferguson. That's going to be outside, low and away. So the count even at two apiece. This game just underway. Third batter into it. Let's see if they can do three up, three down. Huh, Betty? Sound good to me. Ferguson. This is popped up and caught. Nice job there. Uh, Ratcliffe had to get on his horse to come get that one, but good job. Sure did. We'll go ahead and take a timeout. Our score, well, nothing, nothing here. Middle of the first, State Farm High School Baseball game of the week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Are you ready to take control of your health and fitness journey, but not sure where to start? Value Bend Fitness Center is here to help. Our 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility features high-tech exercise equipment, group exercise classes, an indoor track, indoor pools, personal trainers, child care, special events, and more. Join a community, not just a gym, at Bayou Bend. Call 337-413-5106 or stop by 1029 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin today. So I switched my insurance to State Farm and get this, I talked to an actual State Farm agent who lives in my actual town and get this, my actual agent in my actual town gave me actual help with the coverage I needed and get this, my actual agent in my actual town who gave me actual help actually knows my name and get this, they actually say it's called service. Call State Farm agents John Cart and Carol Folsom by Uvista and Dwayne Scott in Morgan City today. Back here in Berwick. We're just uh, waiting for a wind change. <laughs> and you'll be able to. Uh <laughs> yeah, buddy. Whittington. I did find the tie wraps, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Whittington on the mound for Springfield. Yep, sure is. Coming up first for the Berwick Panthers is going to be Eli Lodry. He was uh, two of four on the last game. Pitching for the, uh, the Bulldogs is going to be Thad Whittington. He was the shortstop last game. They moved him, moved him over to pitching for this game. And uh, let's see what he's got. Here's the pitch and swing and a miss. He's got a little bit of a pitch there, Robbie. Do it by Eli that time. Oh, won the count. Pitch to Lodry. That's going to be ball high. 1-1. One, one. One, one pitch. Got it. That one came in at 77. 2-1. This is going to be a shot for third base. And taken in by Lexia. And that is good for out number one. You got some fancy tool over there I didn't know about? What's that? I heard you call it the speed of the pitch. Yeah. Oh, you might even let me in on that beat. Right over there. This is going to be a ball high. 1 0 oh, the count, 1 out. That's going to be a tip foul. Good for strike one. One one the count now on Darby. Gavin Darby. Ball 
Ball two, two yeah. one. Darby went hitless last uh, game two. Yeah, sure did. Let's see if we can uh, get him an early hit right here in game three. Ball low. So that makes the count three and one here. One out, bottom of the first, I should say, not the second. Here's a pitch, and that's foul. So the count full, three and two. That's going to be ball. caught by the second baseman, Cawthorn. Good for out number two. If Cole could break, break two right here and get on base. Oh, that's going to hit him. Yeah. So Mars is going to take. That's the second base. time Cole got clunked today, I believe. Yeah, sure is. There's two outs here. Mars was hit by a pitch, so he takes first. And that brings up Henry. Is that Henry Ferguson to the plate? Oh, that's, that's a, shot. a shot out to left field. Good job. Panthers now with runners on first and second. That's called helping yourself, huh? Yes. <laughs> So the base hit by Ferguson, and that's going to bring up Whipple to the plate. Yeah, there wasn't no doubt about Ferguson's hit right there. That was definitely going to get down. Good job attacking the ball right there. You know, what's really surprising in game three is uh, – as much as they threw at the bases in the first two games. That's going to be a strike. They hadn't thrown at a base runner yet this game. That's right. Really, that's really kind of surprising to me. Could be pitcher, right? I, I, I would think. Maybe they don't feel comfortable with them. Uh, and let's see. They're going to, Burr was going to hold at first and second here. Two outs. Count now one and one. Hey, you got to make sure that ball gets away from the catch of the spring yeah. field. Because he's pretty good back there. Here's the 1-1 pitch to Whipple. Swing and a miss. They're going to say foul. 1-2 now the count. They're banging over there. That's going to oh, be a strike. Come on. Got him looking. High and outside. So that does it for that half inning. When we come back, we'll <laughs> move on into the second inning of play. Nothing, nothing. State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Back in a moment. Redline Power Sports in Morgan City offers ATV and UTV repairs, service maintenance, lift and accessory installs, top end rebuilds and more. They specialize on Polaris and Can-Am, but can also take care of all Yamaha and Honda needs. Redline Power Sports offers all new parts and is an official super ATV parts dealer. Redline Power Sports located just across the Bayou Ramis Bridge at 9349 Highway 182 in Morgan City. City. Call 985-255-4033. If you make plans to join us at the second annual Thibodeau Regional Cancer Institute Festival of Hope, Saturday, April 27th. The day starts at 8 a.m. with a 5K and fun run and continues with live music featuring the Lena Prima Band, Soul Survivors, and The Groove. We'll have food vendors, carnival-style games, sports tournaments, and more at the second annual Festival of Hope, Saturday, April 27th. 
For schedule and more info, go to Thibodeau.com. Go by the chickens. Welcome back here in Berwick, talking of the chickens. Talking about the chickens. Yes, hey, indeed. Hey, I'm curious. If anybody Roosters, knows that the roost has been named, let us know. Yeah, there you go. He's so popular, I figured somebody to gave him a name. Joe Ray is going to be coming up to the plate. He was the pitcher for the last game, game two. Ferguson on the mound for the Berwick Panthers here. As we begin the second inning of play, we've got to have, well, the winner of this game will advance. They'll win the series. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high. So 1 0 oh the count. Pitch by Ferguson. That went into the dirt. So the count goes 2 0. Oh. Here's the 2 0 -oh count. That's going to be another ball. Kind of seems like uh, Ferguson getting out of his groove here, maybe. Think maybe take a time out, kind of talk to him, maybe settle him down. It seems like he's just maybe a little excited. Perhaps. Well, Ray is definitely not swinging right here. No. 3 0 -oh the count. And that's going to be ball four. And so goes Ray to talk to him. Yeah, just kind of settle him down, kind of settle him in a little bit. I mean, he started off doing good, and I guess. It's funny how you go from one end yeah, to the next. exactly. You go from hot to cold. Yeah. It's just something you see all the time in baseball, huh? Oh, at all levels. Yep. What? Hey, we got DoorDash coming in. We got Nick Rogers is the uh, DoorDash oh, Nick, driver. Okay. He's going to drive it up here to us. Yes. And indeed. by the way, do, we do want to thank the ladies and gentlemen in the concessions. Man, they worked so hard. They made some jambalaya this morning. They're flipping the burgers, the fries, and everything else. Well, thanks to all who worked so hard out here. Absolutely. It is Thad Whittington that is at the plate now. Let's see, he was 0 for 3 last game. Here's the pitch by Ferguson, the bunt, and that will go foul. Boy, you just kind of look, and, it, and it's... And you're seeing it always. Just yeah, just pure, peeling off right there. <coughs> Is that because the field slopes, Betty? No, nah, I just been on the ball. But I'm really surprised with Ray on first base that they didn't put a courtesy runner in for him yeah. if they wanted to do that because he's a big boy. It's not like he gets down there real quick. Right. So he's a threat to be thrown out at second. That's right. There's the bunt. He'll lay that one down. Ferguson throws over to first route number one, and that will advance Ray over to second base. So with one out here, top of the second inning, the the um, Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Thank you. It's it's been a long weekend. <laughs> We're in game three. Yeah, 
Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a swing and a miss. So the count, 0 and 1. This like is Bruce Sal up at the plate. Looks like the wind's picking up a little bit now, Phil, getting a little stronger. Yeah. Here's the pitch by Ferguson. This is a shot. And let's see if this one falls, and it does. Ray coming around. He'll score, and it's 1 0. Hey, what the coach for uh, almost took out his own base runner. Yes, indeed. I don't know what he was doing so far down the line, but he almost ran into his own base runner. He had to dive to get out there. Well, that was the umpire. No, it was the coach in the oh. batter's box. Oh, in the coach's box. Oh, okay. So here we go. Roussel got the base hit. And it's Lexia up to the plate. Got he him hung up between first and second. First. Now he'll take second. Yep. You're making me feel bad. And I think we may have lost. I think we may have lost our crowd, Mike. Yeah, I think it's the crowd, Mike. Got got extremely quiet. Yeah. I think we may have lost our crowd, Mike Brady. Well, I have to look into that. Yes. Yep, we sure did. I can take care of that. Run that second one out. One zero oh, the count. That was a strike, I believe. 1-1 one, one now the count. Lexia up at the plate. He went two of three. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, one of three. Last game. One and one here the count. Boy, it's real quiet, huh? When we <laughs> That's going to be a ball. 2-1 the count. You get so used to hearing that oh, yeah. background noise. I think the wind's starting to kind of give us an issue on some of our things. I know the umbrella, we're kind of having issues with uh, one of our cameras. Hey, guess what? The crowd is back. That'll work. There's a swing and a miss. Boy, you, the difference, huh, Betty? Oh, yeah. 2-2 two, two now, the count. You can forget about Betty talk. I tell you what, anytime he starts talking a lot, just give him some jambalaya, B. Hey, that, that made me quiet. <laughs> that shut me up. Man, this is some good jambalaya. Thank you, Nick. Yes. All the guys that made it. They got some big hearts. 2-2 two, two, the count. Got and him. And got him looking. Now, that could have been taken for being outside as well, Betty. Yeah, I'd, I'd say... It was a little, a little bit questionable, yeah. but hey, we'll, we'll trust the blue. I'm just going to bring up Brock Cawthorn to the plane. He was uh, two of three last game. There's two outs here. Panthers trail one nothing. That's going to be a ball high. Well, that wind is steady, huh? Right to left. Yeah, it's getting, getting worse, too. That's going to be a ball high. 2-0 so the count. Runner on second for the Bulldogs. Two outs here, top of the second. Ferguson, look, boy, that's a nice lead right there. 
There's nice the pitch, pitch, and he got a strike on that one. That was a nice pitch. So the count moves to two and one. They'll throw back to second. But Probably the best student section I've ever seen at any high school. Absolutely. They don't quit. Oh, and that was thrown over the back. What are they, what are they the saying? Topic. I I couldn't tell you, but it's funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're in sync. Yes, they are. <laughs> Surprised they're not playing with our mic like they usually Almost do. Almost sound like they were saying onion ring. There's something onion. Uh, onion something. I don't know what it is. 3-1 now the count on Cawthon. Two outs here. This is going to be popped up. Short stop coming over. Crapel and gets out number three. So we'll move to the bottom of the second when we return. They did leave one on, but they did score a run to take the lead in that second. It's 1-0. Bulldogs lead the Panthers State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Game Day Pizza in Patterson, home of the Ballpark Buffet, features the best pizza around. Enjoy their daily lunch buffet Monday through Friday from 11 until 2 and on Tuesday and Thursday evenings with a variety of pizzas, including their delicious dessert pizzas, salad and drink, or order one of their specialty pizzas like the Grand Slam, Shrimp Boil, or Buffalo Chicken Pizzas. And enjoy the game on one of their big screen TVs at Game Day Pizza, 526. 6th Highway 90 in Patterson. Whether you're planning a celebration of life in advance or at the time of need, Hargrave Funeral Home is dedicated to providing personal, compassionate care and attention to detail at an affordable price. Hi, I'm Candace Stinger, Area Manager for Hargrave Funeral Home. We welcome you to call us at 985-384-8605 to schedule a tour and see firsthand how we are committed to offering excellent service, unique tributes, and affordable prices at Hargrave Funeral Home 1031 Victor 2 Boulevard in Morgan City. Back here in Berwick, Panthers. Coming up, and that is going to be Jason Matthews up at the plate for the Berwick Panthers. And that's going to be a strike on the first pitch. Whittington on the mound for the Bulldogs. This is going to be hit over to third base. Lexia takes it in. Ah, it's bobbled. Yep. Yep. Good job of Matthews running it out. So that's going to be a base hit, absolutely. Ray, Ray lost it over there at first base. And, and you know, it's like real young when you're teaching young players it's the hardest thing to get them to realize that they need to just run through that bag yeah, you never know what's gonna happen that's a prime example you look like an idiot if you don't run it out right. and drop the ball they show bunt but pull back that's Zachary kitchen up at the plate for the Panthers oh one the count no outs Panthers wouldn't mind picking up a run or two in this inning, how bad he? Had a couple base runners in the first inning. They throw back to first. Student section hollering, not even close. Right. And this is going to, oh, now they go, oh, oh boy, that was close though, huh? Kind of makes it hard on your base runner when you right. don't get the butt down. He's trying to get the second. Now he's got to try to get back to first. Oh, 
O2 count, bounce off for sure. That's going to be Whoa, outside. I can't believe it didn't ring him up. He's been all over that outside corner. Dump off. Catch it set up way outside. That's going to be outside again. Save. Oh, oh wow. They call him out at second. So that is going to be out number one. I thought it was for sure safe after the catcher. He kind of jumped up like he wanted to throw it the first, and then he spun and threw it the second and still got him out. 2-2 two, two the count. Looks like he got underneath the tag. But That's going to be a ball outside. So the count goes full, three and two. That's going to be fouled back. The count remains three and two. Pitch, and that's going to be fouled down first base. Don't move that down, bro. Oh, okay. Swing and a miss. Going down swinging. Was Kitchen. That's the second strikeout. Now for Whittington. And that brings up Evan Krapel to the plate. Two outs. Here, bottom of the second. Here's the pitch, and that's a shot. Out to left field. It'll fall. See that? Getting thrown out at second, you now have a base runner at third. Right. That's what hurts about that play. So Crampell over at first as Crampell, as he picked up the base hit, and that brings up Lane Rogers. To the plate for the Berwick Panthers, two outs. This isn't necessarily, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing, though, for, well, uh, that's not a good thing. Yeah, Evans is going to pick up second base, standing up, and that would have scored the runner at third. It's the little things that might matter. That's right. So a runner now on second base for the Berwick Panthers. 1-0 the count. Whittington with the pitch. And that's going to be a ball. Yeah, Lane Rogers can hit something to the outfield. Crapel got enough speed. He oh, yeah. To tie this game up for sure. Go ahead that's going to be into the dirt. Oh, Ooh, that was dangerous throw, huh? The count three and oh. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. So the count goes to three and one. Lane sees something right down Broadway right here. He's going to attack. It. Well, it's probably going to be close. Yep. That was a nice pitch, I'm Ben. Yep. Low off speed there. Count full. Money pitch right here. Yep. Here it is, and this is going to be. Oh, shot. he's going to be safe. Yep, sure will. That was almost like a bunt. It just dodged. Runners on the corners. Actually, I thought it was going <laughs> to go foul, and it, it just sat right there in the grass. Going to get a courtesy runner for the catcher at first. No, no, situations first and third. That's going to bring off. up Eli Lodry, too, to the plate. So they're back up to the top of the order. 
want to give a shout out to Under the Lights. It's a statewide sports Facebook page. They shared our awesome. our game uh, yeah. that we are now. They just took a look and they shared us. So thanks to those guys. Yeah. I like my Buddha under the lights. <laughs> nice and warm. That's right. A good link right now. Which is good. That's right, Brady. That's it. That move, that move never fakes out anybody. You ever notice that? No, nah, it never does. Fake the third and first, that never fakes out anybody. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be low and away. 1 0 the count. Two outs. Runners on the corners for the Berwick Panthers. They trail 1 0. They throw back to first. It's almost like they uh trying to waste time. Like if they'd have somebody in the well, bullpen. It's not like there's a clock. Here's a pitch. This Trouble. is going to be hit towards right field. To, it goes foul. Well, with the wind blowing. It hung up there pretty good, huh, because of the wind. I bet Eli's mama saying, straighten it out, baby. Straighten <laughs> it out, baby. I want to say hello to Miss Starlene Skelton, her and Coach yeah. Skelton. She's watching. Awesome. She is the one who gave Betty his nickname. Yeah. Yes. And it's engraved in history. Sean Taylor <laughs> been calling me that for the last 35 years. Yeah. <laughs> the only guy I know whose name is Bet Betty. That's uh, going to be a ball. Be nice if Eli could jump into one right here. Hit a gap. Counts two and two. Go back to first. <laughs> now they're saying don't even go. Uh, don't even, uh, don't even go. Oh, maybe don't even throw. That might be what it is. <laughs> Got to give it to them students. They don't shut I up. Love them, man. Two to the count. Two out. Oh, that oh. hits him. It hits him. It sure does. So he's going to take a base. Well, Lodry, as he was hit by a pitch, and now you've got. Base is loaded. I don't want to call it Brian, but Darby is due. So that's going to bring up Gavin Darby to the plate. He hit it to second base last time. If we could just a little bit higher and hit a hole, you got enough speed on the bases, you can score yeah. two on a base hit. Let's see what Darby does. Which would be perfect. And he's tough at the plate, so I mean, we'll take a walk as well. That's going to be a ball, and it appears that. Yeah, that Winnington's struggling. Yeah, a he bit. is struggling. Don't don't give him uh, uh, any help. Earlier, you saw him like 77 or so. That's a shot! God, man. And that's going to go foul. Jeez. Right at the third baseman. Uh, man, wow. pick it up 12 inches. That's. Good, good bat, though. Man, that's just tough luck. So that does it. We'll go ahead, and that was out number three. We'll go ahead and take a timeout. It's one nothing. Panthers, a left what, two? Three. Three stranded. Loaded. Right there with bases loaded. So one nothing. our score. Panthers Trail State Farm High School Baseball on KQKI Digital Video Network. Back in a moment. This is Von Richard, General Manager of Walk-On Sports Bistro at 908 North Canal Boulevard in Thibodeau. Walk-On puts everything we've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into our mouth-watering cuisine like po' boys, gumbo, and voodoo shrimp. Plus, fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. And cheer for your favorite teams on one of our 60 TVs. Walk-On's in Thibodeau, open from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and until midnight Friday and Saturday. Walk-On Sports Bistro for the win! Golf is one of the most popular sports around. That's why Bogey Free Golf and St. Mary Golf and Country Club are together in your backyard in Berwick. Let Bogey Free Golf repair your clubs or set you up with a new set. Head out to play a round of golf on the best nine-hole course around at St. Mary Golf and Country Club. The best of both worlds are together in one location. Bogey Free Golf and St. Mary Golf and Country Club, located across from Berwick High School. Well, 
Welcome back. Yep. Four fries down. But where my cracker jack? That's it. Well, you know. What y'all talking about, cracker jack? Well, at least you're not using your fries to count. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I did that for Hayden Robinson last year. I put about 12 French fries on the table. So I sure did. Strikeout. And the Bulldogs are at the plate. That's going to be strike one. So 0-1 the count. Got to get the paperwork. The wind is really blowing even up here in the press box. Up the plate is, is that Cawthon? No. Number That's 15, Lipscomb. 15. That is Lipscomb. I don't know what, it's one and one is the count now. Yeah, Springfield dodged a big bullet in the bottom of second inning. Oh, a right huge there. one. That is going to be ball two. Two won the count here, top of the third inning. And Darby hit it hard, but right at the third baseman. Bad luck was all you could put on that one. Yeah. Pitch, and that's going to be fouled back and away. Fouled back. Remember the old days we used to have the nets or whatever on the top? To catch the ball. Oh, yeah. Then he just let him fly out. He look up there, be all kinds of balls up there. Yeah. Nice <laughs> pitch. So that makes it three-two. The count. Ferguson if on the mound. If you think Taco Bell is old. Oh. Man, that was like a solid one too. That probably hurt less than what. Most than what yeah, we think, but it was off speed. That helped. So Lipscomb is hit by a pitch. He takes first base, and that brings up Colt Lerat to the plate. Show bunt. That's going to be a strike because he tried but yeah. didn't connect. That's not the one you want to bunt. No, that was uh, a little bit high. Right. But it's nice that he's chasing. So. Oh, one the count on Lee Red. Runner over at first base. They'll check him out. All the fellas doing a great job here today. I know it's a, I know it's a long day, and this is going to be filed back into the net. So the count moves to 0 and 2. The wind has given us a few challenges here later on in the day. We put umbrellas over the cameras, and that protects them. And unfortunately, we've had one that has. Decided to <laughs> can't believe they to call it a day. Yes, <laughs> with two offs. Oh, that's brave. This is going to be an out at first. That was a nice job there by Morris. Well, that's a roll of the dice right there. Yeah. Because if he hits a foul, you, you don't look so smart. They move the runner over to second, and that's going to bring up Will Sanders. To the plate. Well, Morris does a great job over at third, doesn't he? Yeah, he'd be pretty solid at Tom. There's the pitch, nice and that's going to be strike. Pretty pitch right there. Hit the corner. 0 oh, 1 the count, one out top of the third. Panthers trail 1 0. Ferguson checking out second, now he'll throw. Got 
to keep that runner in check. Just kind of letting him know, hey, I'll throw at you. Yep. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be fouled back. The count, 0 oh and 2. And now Ferguson can kind of do as he wants. Sanders is going to have to work for this one, huh? Yeah, he's going to have to hit Ferguson's pitch right here, and it shouldn't be anything over the plate. Calls timeout, backs away from the plate, now back up to it. Here's the pitch, and that's a shot oh, over just, the first baseman. I thought Matthews had it. And they're going to hold at third, and that's going to be a double for Sanders. Just over Matthews' glove. I thought, I thought he was going to reach up and snag that one. And it'll bring Ridgedale up to the plate. So one out, runners at second and third for the Bulldogs. With Ridgedale, well, catcher Burrow, coming up. Burrow's going to have to play up on the infield to protect that run at third. Yeah. And that's what they'll do. So that infield kind of up to the edge of the you, grass. That just shows you how cruel baseball can be. Darby hits it straight at the third baseman, and they hit it right over Matthew. Pitch, and that's outside. Just a matter of inches, and he snags that down. 1 0 the count on Ridgedale. Point it. We're seeing some hits today. I mean, we're seeing some uh, base running, that's for sure. The, uh, player, uh, guys on base. Yes, yeah, it's, it's getting later. I mean, this <laughs> is like, come on, he is not going to bunt. That's back into the net. 1 1 the count. That's like the silliest move in baseball. I don't know. You load up the bases. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wouldn't tell my uh, batter to. No, I wouldn't either. Because then you, then you have uh, to where they can. Well, you can look the runner back. Play, yeah. yeah, you can look the runner, and, and they are bunting. Oh, they, they are. Okay. Squeeze. Wow, they score, Betty. Yeah, wow. Uh, actually, a nice bunt. I didn't believe they would do it, but they're looking to scratch that one run. Yeah. And they did. And so it's now 2 nothing. Matthew two made out. a good play at first because it was offline, the throw. So two nothing our score. Bulldogs scored one in the second, and then one just now. Red the plate. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh what a my catch! Drive huh? to Ferguson. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that saved the run right there. Ferguson my grabbing that. goodness, sure did. Nice play by Ferguson. The Bulldogs do pick up a run in that half inning. Two nothing. Our score. Bulldogs lead at State Farm. High school baseball game of the week on KQKI Digital Video Network. Life is full of surprises, some good, some not so good. It's why your State Farm agent is there with good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates for everyone. At State Farm, you get great service and great rates so you can be prepared for all of life's surprises. See John Card and Carol Fulce in Bayou Vista and Dwayne Scott in Morgan City. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm requirements. 
If you think Taco Bell is only for late night, you are mistaken. Taco Bell is also for daytime, which is why it's introducing the new Cantina Chicken menu with new Cantina Chicken tacos, burrito, and quesadilla. And new ingredients like seasoned slow-roasted chicken, freshly prepared pico de gallo, shredded purple cabbage, and even a new avocado verde salsa packet. It's the Taco Bell for when it's not late night. Whoa, not just late night. Try the new Cantina Chicken menu now. The participating U.S. Taco Bell locations was last last. Contact store for participation with spares. DoorDash delivery available. Back here in Berwick. This any being brought to you by State Farm Agent John Cart, located 409 Southeast Boulevard in Bayou Vista. Call 95 395 92 93. That's going to be hit to the pitcher who takes it in and Whittington does and gets the out good for out number one. Brady got his hands full over there working both of them. Huh? That's right. I'm Video the and uh, audio. Yep. I'm the octopus. Lil B's taking a break for a few minutes. There you go. He's worked hard enough. Oh, yeah. Count. 2-0. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. Up at the plate is Ferguson for the Berwick Panthers. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a ball. 3-1 the count now. Swing and a miss by Ferguson. That'll make the count go full. Three and two. One out here, bottom of the third. Bulldogs lead it 2-0. This is a shot out to left field. Nice shot by Ferguson. I tell you what, he's gotten somewhat hot here in this uh, yeah, series. He's been on the bases pretty good bit of a time. So That's Ferguson it. gets over to first base, and that brings up Whipple. That's just baseball for you. You see that hit? Last inning scores two runs. Right. It's funny how it is. That's right. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. Oh, one the count. Just kind of dropped that one in there. Pitch to Whipple. Oh, swing man. and a miss. Yeah, that was way inside. Yeah, he wasn't happy with himself. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was he knew. I had a chance to get him. Just got to shake it off and protect right That's here. It. Put a ball in play. That's right. 0 2 pitch from Whittington. A throw back to first. Down now, one and two. Here we go. That's a shot out toward left field, going back, taking it in. Well, that's when you needed that strong win. And yeah. And now it's blowing in yeah, for you. Now it's blowing in. <laughs> go figure, huh? Hey, wait five that, minutes. That's baseball, right? Yeah, wait five minutes. So that was the second out. And now Jason Matthews will come up to the plate. That's going to be a strike. First pitch. 0-1 the count. That was a lips cone that went back to that over left field. Here's the pitch. 
ball. Good job by Matthews right there. By waiting, for this is a shot. Let's see oh, if it stays up? in. No, ah, dog it. that went just fine down third I base line. It up earlier, but I don't know why I just had that feeling. I was like, Matt, I could see it. Either. One, two, now the count. It was a nice shot, just straighten it up, and you're okay, right? That one goes oh, yeah. almost to the wall. Yeah, that definitely was gonna hit the wall. Matthews at the plate, one and two count on him. Runner at first base, two outs. For the Burlick Panthers. But don't probably give it to him. And ball that'll outside. be a ball outside. I tell you what, the umpires. Yeah, we've seen that this weekend. They haven't been too forgiving the batters no. trying to get timeouts. And it, I mean, it's not like last minute, but they did not give it to him. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a ball as it goes into the dirt. Count full. So hey, well, good job by Matthews about yeah. back on this at bat. Why wouldn't they give it to him? Uh, they, sometimes they think it's just to break yeah. up the rhythm of the right. pitcher, but okay. it's out there. Discretion, sure. Umpire's discretion. Absolutely. Oh, oh that hit him. Oh, and yeah. that hits. Matthews, so he'll take a base after being hit by that pitch, and that brings up Zachary Kitchen to the plate. Here we go in the student section. Of course, they their chant, you can't do that every right. time they get hit. Two outs, Batty. Well, you know there's not going to be a bunt, right? No. I, I, you got a senior coming to the plate. It's time for the big dog to eat. Kitchen. I know, I know Tony over there got his fingers crossed. Let's see, Kitchen, I think. Yeah, he's had a base. Uh, no, he struck out his last at bat. I'd like to see him get a fat pitch right here. Big meatball that he can drive. Runners on first and second pitch, and that's a strike. Strike one. Whittington just needs one more out. For them to pull themselves again, yet again, you know. Out of trouble. Last inning, it was bases loaded. That's a strike. Good pitch. O2 right here, you're hoping that uh, Springfield pitcher makes a mistake across the plate. Well, Centerfield's playing him way. Pitch oh, and that's come on. a you strike. Swing. Man. Got him looking, and that's going to do it for three here in Berwick. Bud Henry Field, Berwick Panthers, they trail Springfield Bulldogs 2 0. It's the State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. It's time for you to save like never before at AJ Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Are you ready? treat you right. A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep on the corner of Highway 90 and 182 at the foot of the bridge in Berwick. The city of Berwick congratulates their hometown Berwick High School Panthers. Known for its iconic red lighthouse on the riverfront, the city of Berwick features historic neighborhoods, new residential developments, and exceptional quality of life with well-developed recreational complexes, public schools that are some of the highest performing in the state of Louisiana, and an 800,000 acre backyard, the beautiful Atchafalaya Basin, and not to mention its friendly people go Panthers from the city of Berwick cheering living man. yeah you live and well, learn Brian cheering. yeah you cheering and you live and learn yep 
And that's what the fans are doing. They're cheering. They are cheering. Over in the student section. Got to love them. And they're living and they're learning. Yep. It's all about school, folks. Yep, yep, Education. Yep. Get that education. Yep. All right. Ferguson back on the mound. Oh, this is a nice shot, Patty. Center fielder takes it in. That's uh, Jake. Wait, who's out at center field? We had the Zachary Kitchen, yeah. <laughs> I have a diagram right here and looked at it. Couldn't figure out which arrow was going where, but. So that's a base hit there that Roussel got. And it's Lexi, uh, I think. I oh, know, this is Roussel at the plate. Whittington that got that base hit. <laughs> this is going to be hit over to Cole Morris at third. They try to turn two. Don't do it, but they do get the out at second. Well, you, you notice how you see that look? Yeah. It's like they, they were way ahead of the runner at second. <laughs> he must have got a bad jump or something, because, man, they had that out easy. Yeah. So that's the first out. Near top of the... I've got the four. Now, are we in the bottom of the? Uh-oh. Or we're in, we're in the top, top of, of the four. Third, huh? Top of the four, or, right? Yeah, Should we're in the top of the four. Oh. Yes. Should be at the top of the four. Okay. I wasn't sure. That's okay. I, I usually question myself first because sometimes I lose track. And it's 1-0 the count. Never know with this little do, do hickey thing, whatever they call it in front <laughs> of me. Is that user error or what? All right. One oh pitch. That's gonna be ball two. Two oh now the count on Lexia. He struck out his last at bat. We're just going to let you listen to the food <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the bunt. Ah, Betty off. Boy, that was almost nice, huh? Yep. When you, as far as you look at bunts, but. Isn't that what you want? That you want one that kind of runs with you, but maybe just trails a little bit. Yeah, just get it. Just get a little bit ahead of it. Right. Yeah. Two one the count. We're gonna start calling calling Betty the Fry Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry today. Yeah. The growing Fry boy. Fry Daddy Betty. Well, I tell you what, him and Lil B, they can catch up. Yes, Keep indeed. up with each other. And this is gonna be the bunt the foul. So two twos account. Want to welcome everyone in watching. Usually I say listening, but we're not actually. Nope. We didn't want to. On the airwaves, yeah, we couldn't take out our, uh, our program yes. schedule. Uh, schedule program. There we go. Well, yeah. Regularly. We have our our uh, <laughs> faithful listeners to our South Louisiana Music Saturday, so we didn't want to do that to them. Right. So. And we know how important it is to them because yes. they just can't See, get that, it anywhere. That's why you don't bat. That's why you don't bunt with two strikes. Bat out. Bro was like, yeah. "That's fine with me." No kid, now we hit it two. foul. But we ain't chasing that down and let it go foul. You out. <laughs> so two outs now. Near top of the four. Jeez, it's Cawthorn up the plate. That's going to be a ball. 
hope that student section has a voice tomorrow. Right, I doubt it. That right. may be good for the teachers. <laughs> yeah, for the parents. <laughs> I don't know what this could be about. It's countering up at the plate. I mean, the pitch yeah, is outside. Know. What could he possibly be arguing? He can be asking for a balk because that's a judgment call. Right. Because he's just bringing it to the attention I mean, of what he thought. I mean, you got to kind of. Maybe just trying to disrupt the pitching too, right? Because Ferguson uh, doing, I think they were pretty decent right now. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see anything obvious. Runner on first base. That's Roussel. Hawthorne up the plate. 1-0 the count. Pull is back. 2-0 now the count. The runner, Roussel, will take second. I think I got what they were saying. That's a strike. Or it sounded like it to me. What do you think it is? Onion butt. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> that or lock him up or something. Is that uh, another name for a blossom? <laughs> yes, indeed. Doesn't sound appetizing yeah. for sure. <laughs> Our score were two nothing. Springfield leading the Berwick Panthers. Two two is the count. Two outs here, top of the fourth. Oh, did that hit him? No, I, I don't guess. That's a ball. That's about as close as you can get without yeah, it. No kidding. Count full, three and two, runner at third, Batty. Yeah, he doesn't got two bases out of it. Yeah, no kidding. Here's the pitch, Ferguson, and that's ball four. So runners on the corners now. As Cawthorn has walked, and Ethan Lipscomb will come up to bat. And we've got a timeout. I don't think anybody was up in the bullpen. We'll go ahead and take a timeout as well. Two nothing, our score as they're huddling up at the mound or having a conversation at the mound. It's the State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network back in a moment. Clean Sweep Janitorial is your locally owned full service commercial janitorial service serving our local area since 1997 and is a proud supporter of the Berwick Panthers. Clean Sweep Janitorial is licensed and insured and services commercial buildings, whatever your needs may be. Leave it to Clean Sweep. Call them today at 985-518-3723. Clean Sweep Janitorial says, go Panthers and let's go for a clean sweep in the playoffs back here in Berwick Lipscomb up at the plate there's runners on first and third here two outs top of the fourth inning and now they're going to take off and go to second I don't think Ferguson saw him. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't think. It's not really a huge deal. Yeah, if he had thrown it to the catcher, I still don't think they'd throw it down. Right. So they'll advance a run, runner, the runner over to second. And now runners on second and third. Henry coming with it. That's going to be ball one. Hey, 
1-0 the count. Ferguson's pitch, and that's on outside. So the count will go to 2-0. Think they'll bunt it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> we we didn't think so last time, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, he rolled the dice on that. Yeah, he sure ball. did. And that's going to be strike one. Uh, we we know that you wouldn't normally uh, do that in this situation. <laughs> I mean, like you said, no way. Two one the count. It's been it's been a great weekend though, huh? I mean, coaching when you look at coaching staffs, uh, players, everything. This is filed back, but I mean, everyone's gotten along. You've seen the coaches come out a couple of times, but yeah, it hadn't yeah, been but anything. No, you know, it's been yeah, nice. No yeah. real griping. No, that's normal. I mean, just the stuff that you would expect. We we got an out at third. I, we guessing he didn't touch the uh, third base in the second game, but. No real big arguments. Yeah. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high. So now a full count, three and two. On Lipscomb. There are two outs. Trying to fight his way out of this one, it's Ferguson. He got him, did he? Yep. And that is good for out number three. Dodged a bullet there. Sure did. So Ferguson takes care of business. And we are halfway through the fourth inning. Our score, 2 nothing. Panthers Trail State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Looking for a dumpster rental company that's reputable and affordable? Awapaho Litter Box Rentals is a third generation company that has been locally owned and operated for 50 years and makes dumpster rentals simple, cost effective, and convenient. Awapaho provides the fastest service in town by using flexible scheduling and saves you money with no hidden surcharges. Call Awapaho Litter Box Rentals at 985 384 0703 and let them take your trip. Are you ready to take control of your health and fitness journey, but not sure where to start? Bayou Bend Fitness Center is here to help. Our 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility features high-tech exercise equipment, group exercise classes, an indoor track, indoor pools, personal trainers, child care, special events, and more. Join a community, not just a gym, at Bayou Bend. Call 337-413-5106 or stop by 1029 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin today. Back here in Berwick as the Panthers are about to come up to the plate. They trailed 2-0, so I'm looking to get some uh, runs on the board here. Coming up to the plate is going to be, is that, this is a kitchen. Who is that? Four, that's uh, Crapel. Abin Crapel up to the plate. 1 0 the count after that ball. That's going to be ball two. So now 2 0 the count on Crapel. Waitington still on the mound. Ball three. And that's going to be a ball. Betty said ball three. Hey. We we'll take a free pass right here. We need to crack that, crack them zeros off that scoreboard. Yeah. And he got it. it. Four straight balls. Yeah, sure did. And that gets the uh, bullpen active over there. Yeah. So a walk. Crampel gets, and that brings up Lane Rogers and. I think we're going to have a pitching change, and we, nah, uh, not, not you don't yet. think? No, nah, he's just warming up. He hasn't even thrown a pitch yet. We'll go ahead and keep it here, but they are. I'm not sure. I can't see who that is in the bullpen. Oh, now you know I can't see that for. Yeah. Now, nah, this is just to give him some time to warm up in case they need to bring him in. Uh, 
course, if they call another timeout, they got to take him out. Yeah. Here we go. There's the pitch. And they fank the throw over to first. It's a 1 0 count on Rogers. And that's going to be ball two. But that's six balls in a row. I don't know if you're counting. Waitings in with the pitch. They show butt, pull back, and that's a strike. Right down the pipe, Betty. 2-1 the count on Rogers. Tried to bunt. That's going to be a foul. That'll even the count out at two apiece. A runner on first base for the Panthers. That runner being crap out. Here's a 2-2 pitch, and that's a swing and a miss and going down swinging. Got him, Drew. Yep, got him at second as well, so that's good for out number one heck and of, two. Heck of a play by the catcher. It's hard enough to catch the strike, but then you throw it down and get a double right. play. I'll tell you what, he's a pretty talented catcher. Yeah, he's, I mean, we've seen he, him. He, a, he ain't the biggest guy in the world, but he can nah, play. Yeah, we've seen him a so quite a few times. It, it's his reaction time. It's so fast. So now it's two outs, nobody on. That was the third strikeout for Whitting. So that one, brings up Eli Lodry. In one pitch, you get two outs. Yeah. And that makes up for anything that might happen oh, before. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> almost completely bails them out. Pitch, and that's the ball. 1-1 one, one the count. With Lodry up at the plate. He was actually hit by a pitch his last up. I thought he was going to get hit again right yeah. down the shoulder. Count two and one. Felt like a little cool breeze or something, huh? Feels good. Yeah. This is going to be hit to throw. Gets by third base. That one got by Lexia. And so a base hit for Dar or for Lodry. And that brings up Gavin Darby to the plate for the Panthers. Yeah, last time up he smoked that ball to third base, but the problem was right in his glove. That's gonna be a ball high. Panthers have gotten runners on the bank. Yeah, we're just thinking we had lots of runners yeah. in position to score. We just couldn't get them in. Kind of what happened in that first game, huh? Yeah, yeah those back to back innings, yeah. with two on with no out, and you got to get a run out of that. That's going to be a shot over to right field, and it looks like Lee Rett will take it in. And that is good for out number three. So we'll move on into the fifth inning. And at the end of four, two nothing, the score remains. Bulldogs on top of the Panthers. State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. 
Conrad Shipyard, serving Louisiana and the Gulf Coast since 1948, is celebrating 75 years in business in 2023. Core values of safety, quality, integrity, and craftsmanship show in our people and our products. With five modern and expansive shipyards located along the Gulf Coast in Louisiana and Texas, Conrad's portfolio includes a wide range of vessels built for commercial customers and the U.S. government. Conrad Shipyard is a proud supporter of our local athletes and wish them the very best on and off the field. Are you looking to improve your health and wellness? The experts at Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance can help you achieve the lifestyle you strive for, all while reducing your pain. We can get you on the road to recovery from an injury or surgery, with or without a physician's referral, at our state-of-the-art facility located at 611 Brashear Avenue in Morgan City. If you're looking for a healthier, stronger, and more active and pain-free lifestyle, call Core at 985-384-1999. Welcome back here to Berwick. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Panthers trail 2-0. Got Stan's barrier coming out to pitch this inning. Yep, 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 he is. He go better. <laughs> Brian's on a leash over here. <laughs> See what I try to be. I'm That's doing, the way Jennifer likes you. It. It's on the leash. <laughs> yep. <laughs> gotta gotta get some control of me. Yes, indeed. There we go. Up at the plate. Who do we have up at this plate? Is that Lee Rat? Nice yep. Sure is. That's gonna be fouled, man. I tell you what, that went, was, that went pretty far. He was on his horse too. Yeah, sure was. If that ball lands a little to the right, he catches it. So Lee Rat. Up at the plate for and it, Springfield. And then he had to deal with those uh, those pitching mounds out there. Yeah. We're welcome to everyone in watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying our coverage of this first round of the playoffs. Count even at one apiece on Lee Rett. As we just start this fifth inning. That's a ball high. Who's Oh, we've got a different uh, pitcher. Pitcher, okay. Yeah, Kyle Stansberry. Thank you. I must have been up on that one and over on the side. That's right, going to be tip foul. He was a count two and two. All right, I think we lost our crowd, Mike, again. I'm going to work yep, on that. There you go. It, boy, it's kind of strange when you lose that. Yeah, you, everything goes quiet. I, that's okay, Brady B. Yep, I yep. know you're uh, trying, your, trying your best over yes, there. Yes, indeed. I'll get it right back. Sabotage. Yes, indeed. Then you got to realize, too, two games today. So yes, that indeed. So that kind of oh, yeah. on the, uh, the batteries, they usually don't like it. No. <laughs> well, we got to probably put some more quarters in the mic. That's over. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the jukebox. <laughs> for, for yeah, the, like a meter. For, the, for JP gives us a <laughs> ticket. Here we go, Lee Rett. Two and two, and that's going to be outside. So Ooh. three and two, the count goes full. Brady, you hadn't put them quarters in yet? <laughs> the meter may ain't gonna come by there soon if you don't get it done. <laughs> Here's, oh, that's a Good nice hit. shot right over the shortstop crap out. Out to left field and yeah, Beaudry took it in and that puts a runner on base. I'm gonna go ahead and give my buddy Lee Babbin a shout out for Labco batteries. I tell you what, they like us during yeah, baseball no kids, season. No. Jeez, we go through some batteries. <laughs> <laughs> then we buy the good stuff. Yep. So you have Lee Rand over at first, and it's uh, Will Sanders up at the plate. They'll throw back to first, but Lee Rand slides back safely. Sanders, the center fielder. All right, crowd. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. There it is. All right, we got crowd, Mike. I have to put those quarters in it. 
Yeah. It just changes the whole dynamic of it, it sure when you does. don't uh, yep. have the crowd in it. Absolutely. Because it's real quiet up here. Yep. But we can't tell because no. we've got our exactly. headsets on. Here's the pitch, and that's a shot. That may uh, no, might get a double. Yeah. Good job by Thurgerson. I believe that's him right there. Yeah. And a shot at getting that base runner at first. I tell you uh, what, Leroy thought that was probably going to fall. Yeah, uh, and if he stumbles any, Ferguson rings him up. Yes. You know, Brian, over yeah. the years, you and I have been in our, and Betty too, we've been in our share of press boxes. When they're closed off, you can't hear anything. It's actually eerie. That's, yeah, it is. That's why we might try to crowds. call the uh, yeah. game. Absolutely. Yep. Bridgedale up at the plate. I'll throw back to first. There is one out here, top of the fifth inning. Earl trails two nothing. Here's the pitch, Ridge down, and that's going to be a ball. One zero, -oh, the count. Stansberry. Is up on the mound now for the Panthers. One oh, the count. That's going to be strike one. Now one one. Boy, it has gotten windy, huh? Probably getting ready for that front. Now that, now the flags are, are blowing back towards from right to left. Or it's kind of hard to tell, are they? I wouldn't want to be in a boat today. It's White Cap City. <laughs> yeah. Especially with Brady, because he won't put the plug in it. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 that's hey. true. Watch out now. That, that, you know Two, when I was a kid when it happened. <laughs> Brady was, went for a three-minute tour and almost turned into a three-hour tour. <laughs> yep. Yes, indeed, man. He say all he saw was bubbles. Yep. Two-one pitch, and that's going to be fouled. Took a bubble. So took that'll a bubble even bath. out the count. Two apiece. Took a little bubble bath in the Bayou Tesh. Two-two to count. One out. Base yep. run on first. Here's the pitch by Stansberry. Wow, that's pretty. Got him. That right. was pretty. He laid off of it and it just broke right in there. That was pretty, pretty, pretty. So now two outs with the runner on first. And coming up to the plate is Joe Ray. He's had a walk. He's been walked. I think he's been on uh, base uh, twice here today. Because he actually came in. He's one of the runs. Yeah, I think they actually bunted him to second. Right. And he, so he almost took out his coach on third base. <laughs> Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. Strike one. Yeah, I, mean, I, I look at it like this. When a, when a lineman's coming around third, you get out of his way. Yes, indeed. Nice and pitch. That's going to be a strike. Oh, to the count. Two outs here. You stand, Barry. You're not throwing it over the white right oh, here. Oh, no. Make him chase something. You can see the way they're setting up. That's going to be a shot. Cole Morris over third base and oh, he dropped another one. Safe. 
And now runners on the corner. Man. But we had trouble throwing the first today. So a base hit for Joe Ray. And Tad Whittington is now up at the plate. He's had a base hit today. Well, now this kind of gets interesting because you get a hit here. Yeah, it'll be unearned. Yeah. Should have been out the inning. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be the ball. Wasn't exactly sure. It was close, though, huh? Yeah. Or at least it looked close. One oh the count on Whittington. Here's the pitch. Wow, that's, that's pretty, huh? That's a ball. Yeah, it had ball. to been a little okay, low. Yeah, it was, I think. Boy, it looked pretty though out his It hand. sure did. You saw it come back out. Two outs here, top of the fifth. And that's a shot. Is it going to make it through? Oh, what a nice job. Wow. A nice run. You want to talk about making Saving a, a run. Player. Saving that a run. Sure did. That's going to do it for that half of the fifth inning. I know Ronnie's downstairs pumping his arms. Yes, indeed. That's my boy. Our score 2 nothing. Panthers trail. There. Up to bat next, State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Crank up the volume in your kitchen with Amplified Seasoning by Cedar Seafood. Now available locally from GJ Curbside. Amplified Seasoning will definitely amplify any meal. Choose from Amplified Seafood Boil, Blackened Seasoning, Hot Sauce, or Fish Fry. All created in South Louisiana using quality ingredients and now available from GJ Curbside. This is Eric Lynn. Please visit GJCurbside.com. From our curb to yours, GJCurbside.com. Palomar Shipyard, locally owned and operated by the Hidalgo and Wiggins families, serves the marine industry by offering new construction, conversion, and repair services with top quality workmanship. Palomar Shipyard is founded on the principles and commitment of providing a safe work environment for their family of employees and being a leader and a supporter in our local community. Good luck to our local students and athletes from Palomar Shipyard in Morgan City. 95.3 KQKI. Welcome back. As we've got Cole Mars coming up to the plate. Cole's been hit by a pitch in this game. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. Oh, one the count. That's going to be fouled past first base. So 0 oh, 2 the count on Morris. And Berwick's going to want to start kind of getting some things going here because there's not much left of this game. Still a lot of game left, but yet not a lot, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, got to get, gotta get right. cooking. Swing and a miss. Mars goes down swinging. Out number one. And this is the fifth inning, and it is being brought to you by State Farm agent Dwayne Scott, located at 1102 Victor 2 Boulevard in Morgan City. Call 95 3 4. 
43-20. That was a ball. As we go, is that Henry up there? Yeah, Henry Ferguson. That's going to be a strike. That'll bring the count to one apiece. Hmm. Ball two. Now down two and one on Ferguson. Two one pitch, and that's a ball low. So three one the count. This is going to be hit over to third. Nice throw by that young man, Laxia. Carson Laxia. Boy, that was, uh, and that's out number two. That bang, bang right there. Yeah. We've seen some pretty good defense uh, this series by this team. And, uh, and he turned several double plays. Yeah. And that catcher throw in his second has been phenomenal. Here's another shot over to third. Bob over. Let's see. And look at that. Lexia gets out number three, and he's pumped up. And that does it for that half inning. That does it for five. Here in Berwick, we'll move to the six when we return to nothing. Bulldogs lead it. State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. At Oshner, we understand that no one's health journey is the same. Whatever big or small health moments you may face, we're here for you. Our expert care teams are always pioneering new solutions for your health offering innovative treatments close to home so that you can get back to doing what brings you the most joy in life. Oshner Health. Long live you. For more information, visit oshner.org slash long live you. Intermore started in 1974 in Amelia, Louisiana as a small oil field services company providing personnel and equipment to serve the offshore drilling industry. Intermore is now one of the largest offshore oil field mooring companies in the world, but its local roots run deep with offices right here in Morgan City employing over 150 employees in their offshore fabrication and shore-based facilities. Intermore Incorporated is a proud supporter of our local schools and athletes and wishes them the best of luck in their endeavors. Back here in uh, Berwick, third game of this three game, best of three game series. Winner takes it. It's going to be Roussel up to the plate. Stands very still in the mound for Berwick. And this inning is being brought to you by State Forum agent John Card, located 409 Southeast Boulevard in Bayou Vista. Call 95-395-92-93. pitch. This one's fouled back for strike one. So the count one and one on Roussel. Pitch and this one's hit foul toward third base. Good for strike number two. One to the count. Here's we begin the sixth inning. That one's outside. Ball two, two, two. Now the count. Stands very in. It's a pitch. Is that? Oh. That one's going to be foul. Kyle Stansberry. He, he can. Uh, 
He can bring the heat a little bit, too. Yeah, he got a little pop. Pitch by Stansberry, and this one's fouled back. So the count holds at two apiece. He's uh, uh, th the son of Tiffany Stansberry, who was Tiffany Landry. Yeah. That we went to school That's with. right, huh? Yeah, Papa Wade just passed a few months back. Yeah, sure did. Sure he's down here watching it. This one's fouled back. So he's hanging in there, Batty. He's done a pretty decent job. Got his, got his outs. That's pretty. That's pretty. And he got him looking on that one. That's good for out number one. Halfway out of his hand, I knew that was going to be a good pitch. So Roussel goes down swinging. All right. Looking. Was he looking or was he swinging? He was looking. He was looking. Okay. I can't remember. And it brings up uh, Lexia to the plate. Oh. That's going to be fouled back. Won the count on Lexia. Well, that was wasn't close. bad. No, it sure was One won the count. You're one out. Pitch a swing and a miss. One, two, now the count on Lexia. One, two pitch, and that's going to be inside. I like it. I like it. Keeping it close to the plate. Yeah. Pitch, and this one's fouled back. Stansberry uh, th having to throw a lot of pitches. That's for sure. Not nasty. And he got him there. Out number two. You know, Stansberry come off the mound, or uh, come on the mound last inning, and, and he's doing the job keeping you in the game. He just needs his offense. What to get classification out there. is Stan? I think he's a junior. Oh wow. But uh, watch out next year, huh? Yeah, between him and Matthews, that, yeah. could, be, that could be a pretty nasty, oh, yeah. nasty one-two. That's gonna be a strike. Just needs his offense to come out and break through that, get the zeros off that scoreboard. Oh, one pitch, and that's a strike. Made him, made him duck down, huh? As it's uh, Cawthorn. Brock Cawthorn up at the plate. That was oh, the, he went after that one. Yeah, that was going to be strike three right there if he didn't get a piece of it. So the count remains 0 and 2. Let's see. Welcome in to Christian, Nicole, how are you? Kimberly, Patrick, Tootie. And that is good for out number three. We'll go ahead and take a timeout. Halfway through the six. 2-0. Bulldogs lead it over the Panthers. State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Hello, I'm Dr. Jerry Wilkes, CEO of Tesh Action Clinic. Let me show what we have to offer to your family. Whether it's uh, OBGYN, adult medicine, dental care, dietary, pediatrics, behavioral health, or pharmacy, it can all be found right here at Tesh Action Clinic. Yes, it's care that's comprehensive, coordinated, and patient-focused. Our services are provided on a sliding fee scale basis. So if you're looking for a medical home, please come visit us here at Tesh Action Clinic, the heartbeat of St. Mary Power. 
Redline Power Sports in Morgan City offers ATV and UTV repairs, service maintenance, lift and accessory installs, top end rebuilds and more. They specialize on Polaris and Can-Am, but can also take care of all Yamaha and Honda needs. Redline Power Sports offers all new parts and is an official Super ATV parts dealer. Redline Power Sports, located just across the Bayou Ramis Bridge at 9349 Highway 182 in Morgan City. Call 985-255-4033. Back here at Berwick, coming up to the plate is going to be Jason Matthews. Or the Berwick Panthers is swinging a miss. 0-1 the count on Matthews. There's the pitch and that's gonna be ball one, 1-1 one, one the count. Kind of getting, uh, I don't know, that breeze just feels nice. It feels different than what it did this morning, huh? Yes, this morning it, there, was, there was no breeze. It was just hot, <coughs> stifling. One, two, the count. On Jason Matthews. Whittington with the pitch, and that's going to be a ball high and away. So the count even at two apiece. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be ball three. Count goes full. We're in the sixth inning. Now it's crunch time, I bet. Ball four. So, Lead off batter on, we yep, just got to get him that, around. That's it. Matthews takes first after being walked, and that brings up Zachary Kitchen to the plate. I think he's going to come out now, and they're going to bring in who is that? Uh, Carter Dupuy. Over at first base for the Panthers. I think he had a stolen base last time they put him in as a courtesy runner. He's kind of a quick low fella. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, one the count. Kitchen up at the plate for the Berwick Panthers. They've got a runner on. This is going to be popped up. Trying to get it. Boy, it's going to be hard to play, but a great job there in the right field by Coatley Rett. Coming up with wind and all and getting that out. Yeah, because the first baseman didn't even make an effort to go for it. No, sure didn't. A long run for that right fielder. So Evan Crapel up at the plate. One out. They've got a runner on first. That's ball one. Hanging there with his folks as we still got some baseball left. Panthers need to get some runs. Count now two and up. Pitch, and that's going to be fouled towards third base. 2 1 now, the count on Crapel. <laughs> Got to love it. <laughs> Their radio debut. All right. 2 1 pitch, and that's fouled back. So the count even now, 2 2. Even Baby's over there talking smack, huh? Uh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm really surprised that the student section hasn't played with our mic like it's they uh, usually do. It's a barrel thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Here's the pitch, and that's a ball. So the count is full, three and two. Count is full. Oh, I hit him. Oh, it sure did. Either did. way, he took the base, so now you got two yeah. on with one out. There you go. Is that a walk or was he hit by a pitch? Hit by a pitch. Okay. That's going to bring up Lane Rogers. Now to the plate for the Berwick Panthers. He got runners on first and second. Said, I, you know, even if they can squeeze out a run here, Patty. Yeah, I just don't think I want to bunt with one out. And then they with no outs. Yeah. Right. Hundred percent. I think I'd take my chances with Red Lane swinging the bat versus just giving up a run to put them in position. But that's what they're gonna do. Here's the one pitch, and that's gonna be hit. And good for out. Number two. Now runners do advance to second and third. Who was that? That was the first base. And we go back up to the top to Eli Lodry. He had a base hit his last at bat, so. I know it's two outs, but. Hey, who knows? Yeah, playing the numbers. That's it. Oh, that was close. Looked like he kind of almost. Yeah, it looked like leaned. he was expecting it to hit him yeah. in the head. Man. <laughs> like he was turning his face away from it. 1 0 the count. That's going to be a hit. It's going to be a tough it. play. Yes, it is. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. Scores a run. Yeah. Scores two. Two runs score for the Panthers. Wow. Tell you what, it wasn't much of a hit, but it worked. And we're tied up. It, it actually, with two outs, that's what forced the second run, because you're running on two outs. And we're tied up. And you wouldn't think that might come down to the hit of the, the ball game, but it could possibly. Yeah, no kidding. So that was a base hit. And that brings up Darby to the plate for the Berwick Panthers. I'm assuming he's trying to appeal that he didn't touch, but he did. And the uh, and, uh, umpire's already called him safe. He's not going to turn his own call. It's not like they have instant replay, you know, they um, replay in the he, booth. He clearly touched it anyway, so. Yeah. I, I honestly don't think the catcher ever made a tag to begin with. Maybe it's, maybe it's that little dink right there that opens it up. Tied it up. This is definitely a team that is resilient. They don't give up yeah. easy. They just don't. They're obviously not making a pitching change because they have well, maybe they are. Yeah, it looks like they guess will. Guess they're using a position player, though. Let's see who that is, Batty. That's going to be Lexi. Carson Lexi. He's going to come over from third base. This is interesting. 2-2 two, two the count. Well, here's some LSU news. The LSU gymnastics team has won the their first national title today. Awesome. I love me some LSU gymnastics. I saw, there you go. They, I saw they were in the finals. Yep, yep. They won their first national title today. That's pretty cool. Congratulations to that them. Is. I tell you, they've competed year in and year oh, out yeah. for a long time. You know, you look at you look at uh, the gymnasts today. 
Robbie. And they, you know how they really, they kind of used to be real tiny, like, but it just seems like they are more accepted. You don't get the. I know Paul Skeens I, is a fan of the LSU yeah. gymnastics. I don't want to say that they used to try to make them too small. Almost. Yeah, like tiny. Yeah. Itty bitty tiny. But. Uh, I tell you, it's fun to watch because oh yeah, you talk about got some strong legs. It's unbelievable. Look at that gymnast. My wife loves watching that's, that. That's what you call power. I don't mind watching the gymnastics with her, but she likes to watch that ice skating too. And so does my wife. I just can't get down with the ice skating. Yeah, my wife yeah. loves to watch. It's the it's the whole Mickey Mouse thing. I yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the glitter and the glamour, yeah. and the fake smiles and all it's, that. I was a fan of Nancy Kerrigan. I mean, the whole situation with her, I mean, she yeah. bounced back. I, I was a fan of it hers. That was yeah, pretty sad. Then we got Gavin Darby at the plate with two outs, man on first. Yeah, yeah. Face it, might open this up right here. It sure might. That's going to be a ball. Gavin's not an easy out. He's got a good eye at the plate. Boy, when, when you look at where it was just for a moment where you thought, okay, you know, it was 2 nothing, yeah, and yeah. it looked like, you know, two outs, and it looked like, okay, it just wasn't going to happen. It just opened up. That's well, going to be a swing in a minute. Well, you know, Coach Ortega said, uh, Ortega said it. One quail for it here, that changes yeah, the game. That's it. I mean, by no means was it the hardest hit ball in the world, but he got two RBIs off of it. And they're going to throw back to first, but slides back in safe. Darby is batting. Two outs here, bottom of the six. We're tied up two apiece. That oh, oh, that's going to work. Oh, oh wow, oh. what a catch. No kidding. Wow. I thought that was unbelievable. I thought that was an easy play. base hit. Yes. Well, that shortstop flew over there. And that's going to do it for six. We'll move into the seventh inning when we return. It's all tied up to a piece. Burley, Springfield, State Farm, High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Make plans to join us at the second annual Thibodeau Regional Cancer Institute Festival of Hope, Saturday, April 27th. The day starts at 8 a.m. with a 5K and fun run and continues with live music featuring the Lena Prima Band, Soul Survivors, and The Groove. We'll have food vendors, carnival-style games, sports tournaments, and more at the second annual Festival of Hope, Saturday, April 27th. For schedule and more info, go to Thibodeau.com. Game Day Pizza in Patterson, home of the Ballpark Buffet, features the best pizza around. Enjoy their daily lunch buffet Monday through Friday from 11 until 2 and on Tuesday and Thursday evenings with a variety of pizzas, including their delicious dessert pizzas, salad and drink, or order one of their specialty pizzas like the Grand Slam, Shrimp Boil, or Buffalo Chicken Pizzas. And enjoy the game on one of their big screen TVs at Game Day Pizza, 520. 6th Highway 90 in Patterson. Go Berwick! Go Berwick! Go! Go Berwick! Go Berwick! Go! go Back Berwick, here. Go Berwick! Go! 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 Back go, here go, in Berwick all tied up to a piece. Stansberry remains on the mound. Here's the pitch and this is going to be popped up. Let's see if the catcher can get it. Good he job. does. Good job, Lane. Lane Rogers comes down with it. That's out number one. Hey, I propose with Brady just playing a second ago, that little sound bite. I propose next year we do a go Betty, go Betty, go. <laughs> right. What you gonna do? Wave a lick of boot around or something? There you uh, go. I do the Tootsie Roll or something. There you go. Is this? Who's that to play? That's uh, Lee Rat. Yeah. Lee Rat. One oh the count. Here's the pitch, and that's gonna be another strike. Or like a strike. The, I like one the one. I like the movement on Stan Bear's pitches. 
he, yeah. didn't, he didn't throw a whole lot straight. Everything got a little slice to it. One, one, the count. His uncle was a uh, good baseball player, bro. Yep. Dude, that one coming in at 75, Daddy. And that's ball two. We do have some things in the works for next year that uh, hopefully we can improve upon some things. It, it will not include glitter or pyrotechnics. Yeah, that's right. I'll let you know that. <laughs> Here's the pitch, and that's going to be foul. So the count full three and two. Looks like it got a little piece of lane. I'm not sure if it hit it. And oh. Might have caught him uh, south of the border. To uh, work on him, we'll go ahead and take a time out. It is well. Hang on, that was bouncing up quickly. Yep. Uh, that cut my arm. I thought maybe off. he was gonna. That's right. Uh, too much for that. That well, looks like Coach Artigo is getting a kick out of this one. He's laughing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Full count, three and two. Here's the pitch, and that's ah. going to be ball four. So Lee Rat takes first base. And it brings up Will Sanders. <laughs> Up at the plate now, Ridgedale. They'll throw to first base. Trying to get Lorette, but nothing cooking. One out here, top of the seventh. Welcome everyone in. That's a oh, shot. Job. Might have nice two. job. Let's see. Got it. Yep. Good job, Cole. Yes, indeed. I would call that a Cole as ice play. Absolutely. What a great play by wow. Cole Morris. They dropped two right there. Uh, and we'll as move. A, as a base runner, you can't do anything about that. No. Middle of the seventh inning. It's the Safe Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Back in a moment, folks. Whether you're planning a celebration of life in advance or at the time of need, Hargrave Funeral Home is dedicated to providing personal, compassionate care and attention to detail at an affordable price. Hi, I'm Candace Stinger, Area Manager for Hargrave Funeral Home. We welcome you to call us at 985-384-8605 to schedule a tour and see firsthand how we are committed to offering excellent service, unique tributes, and affordable prices at Hargrave Funeral Home 1031 Victor 2 Boulevard in Morgan City. Ah, the sound of my doorbell. It means a brand new package is waiting for me. What treasures did I order this time? I'm so glad my State Farm agent helped me combine my home and auto insurance to get a rate that fits my budget. I don't have to give up what I love. Oh, coming. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, call State Farm agents John Cart and Carol Folson by Vista and Dwayne Scott in Morgan City today. Individual premiums and budgets will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. 95.3 KQKI. All tied up to a piece. You know, Brian. Last that the, bad here, Betty. Yeah, and uh, Brian during the break was saying, uh, could this could go to extra innings. I said, you know what? That last defensive play 
And guess who we got coming to the plate? Cole Morris. Yeah, like, that's right. Good no kid. I mean, you you're right. You're literally one swing away from winning the series. Absolutely. True. Cole Morris is up at the plate. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be hit over to the third baseman. Good throw. Good pay. Missed the pick. And nope, they can't get it. He's going to have a double at least. Wow. He yes, does. Indeed. So there you go, Betty. You said it. You know, that's the spark you needed right there. Two back to back plays by Cole Morris. So Morris gets the double, and that's going to bring up Henry Ferguson, who has had a pretty good series here for the Panthers. As cold as uh, Morris been today, you might need a cooler to carry all that ice. <laughs> Down to one swing right here. I, we, will, we will not be seeing a bunt out of Henry, no. I can guarantee you that. No, I wouldn't think so anyway. No outs. You know, if Lexi is on the mound. If you're Springfield right now, you're thinking, uh-oh. Did we just wake up the beast? Here's the pitch by Lexi, and that's outside. Yeah, you're right. That's a shot to the shortstop. They, they throw to third. third. They got him. Oh! They got him. Good play by the shortstop, but sure I thought he was, was. safe. I think that was a good call by the official, Betty. Well, rule of thumb is if it's his hit at your freeze, yeah. he took off the third. So Ferguson gets the base hit. But if he gets there, it's first and third, no out. Yeah. Whipple is now up to the plate for the Panthers. There's one out. That's going to be a ball. Panthers have a runner on first. Yeah, Springfield's really lucky to get that brace runner out at third after that overthrow at first. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be ball two. Yeah, they dodged a bullet right there getting that base runner. Two zero pitch. They are throwing the second, and Good job. yeah, Ferguson did a great job sliding in safely. Yeah, he was in there real easy. Three zero the count. Basically, at this point, if if Whipple hits a shot in the outfield, you better believe Ferguson's coming home. Want to welcome everyone in. Just, oh, they wait, just, they're going to they send just, Whipple to. Yeah, they just walked him. Oh, they walked him. Okay, gotcha. Trying to get, trying to get that force right there. <clears throat> so Whipple goes to first. Now, runners on first and second for the Panthers. Coming up to the plate is going to be Jason Matthews. Same scenario. <laughs> If he can get a ball in the outfield, you better believe Thurgis is coming around third like a bulldozer. Lexi is pitched to Matthews, and that's going to be ball one. A little high on that off speed. Just inside. Thought it was going to hit him for yeah, a second. I, just, I was I, I was watching it real close too. Two zero now the count. Come on, Jason. Get Lexi, your head, looks at second. Now he'll come with now, it. Oh, oh, that's a shot. Wow. But it's going to go foul. Wow. That's almost the same place yeah. he hit last time. Foul toward third base. He jumped on that pitch. I can tell you that one. Two one the count. Boy, he to hit that just a little bit earlier. A little bit sooner, Batty. I don't know if it was out, but it was definitely grabbing some green wall out there. 
2-1 pitch by Alexia. This is going to be popped up. Center field. I don't think we're going to see a tag. No. Nope. And it's now two outs as Matthews flew out to center field. And that brings up Zachary Kitchen. Coach Love going to put him aside for a second, give him a little talk. You know the all about talking, right? Yeah. Last year. Coach, Coach Love, <laughs> he sprinkled his magic before. And we were in Sterlington game two, and uh, Mason had been struggling at the plate. And coach pulled him aside. Well, I believe it might have been a one-one count. So how long? Calm down. How long do you think it'll take before Lud's in after he retires, if he ever does, uh, to make it into the Louisiana Athletic Hall of Fame? Well, you can actually make it, I believe, before you retire. Here's the pitch. That is uh, a ball. One zero. -oh the count. We just need a base hit somewhere in the outfield to make this exciting. Lexi, oh, this is a That's shot. That's it. Oh, what a wow. grab. What a grab by Lipscomb. I thought he was burnt. My goodness. <laughs> and that is going to do it. I thought he got burnt in left field, I ain't gonna lie. For seven innings, when we return, we'll move into the A. It's the State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week. You call that a game? On the KQKI right Digital there. Video Network, no kid. Wow. Life is full of surprises. Some good, <laughs> some not so good. It's why your State Farm agent is there with good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates for everyone. At State Farm, you get great service and great rates so you can be prepared for all of life's surprises. See John Card and Carol Fulce in Bayou Vista and Dwayne Scott in Morgan City. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm requirements. The city of Berwick congratulates their hometown Berwick High School Panthers. Known for its iconic red lighthouse on the riverfront, the city of Berwick features historic neighborhoods, new residential developments, and exceptional quality of life with well-developed recreational complexes, public schools that are some of the highest performing in the state of Louisiana, and an 800,000 acre backyard, the beautiful Atchafalaya Basin, and not to mention its friendly people go Panthers from the city of Berwick welcome back here to Berwick Light Henry Field it's all tied up to a piece as we begin this eighth inning coming up to the plate for the Bulldogs it looks like that is going to be uh, the pitcher or uh, catcher Kyle Ridgedale. Here's the pitch to Ridgedale, and this is going to be fouled over to third base. So 0 1 the count. Almost like a. Well, I was going to say that's going to be ball two or ball one. Good location. One, one to count. I was going to say almost like a new game, but it's not. <laughs> free, free in and I'm free tired. baseball. <laughs> that's it. That's a good one. That's wow. going to be ball two. Two, one the count now on Ridgedale. Extra innings. Here in Berwick, this is a shot out to right field and taken in by Whipple. That is good for out number one. Well, it's almost like we've gotten into that here in the past, I guess. You inning you can tell where the defense almost looks like it's kind of picked up a little bit and you get those good plays and just good hits with people yeah. in the right spot that's it 
0-1 the count on Joe Ray. Here's the hit popped up. Taken in by Stansberry for out number two. Stansberry done a good job this in and getting two easy fly, fly yeah, balls. Yeah, no kidding. That brings up Thad Weddington to the plate. Pitch to Weddington. This is a ball outside. Well, hello, Kenny. Kenny Boo. Kenny Boo. Yep. Good to have you in here, my friend. Good little place ball right there. Yep. Oh, little going for two. two. Gonna try. Oh, I think they're gonna got him. They got him. Oh yeah. That was easy. That came nicely from the outfield. Was that Henry? Was that Henry that did that? Yeah. Uh, I think there. so. I think that was Rhett Ratcliffe at second base to apply the tag, though. Right. He actually had to wait on the uh, base runner. Bottom of the eighth. We'll move into when we return. All tied up two apiece. St. Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KQKI Digital Video Network. Clean Sweep Janitorial is your locally owned full service commercial janitorial service serving our local area since 1997 and is a proud supporter of the Berwick Panthers. Clean Sweep Janitorial is licensed and insured and services commercial buildings, whatever your needs may be. Leave it to Clean Sweep. Call them today at 985-518-3723. Clean Sweep Janitorial says, go Panthers and let's go for a clean sweep in the playoffs. Looking for a dumpster rental company that's reputable and affordable? Awapaho Litter Box Rentals is a third generation company that has been locally owned and operated for 50 years and makes dumpster rental simple, cost effective, and convenient. Awapaho provides the fastest service in town by using flexible scheduling and saves you money with no hidden surcharges. Call Awapaho Litter Box Rentals at 985-384-0703 and let them take your trip. Go Berwick, go Berwick, go! Go Berwick, go Berwick, go! Go, go, go Berwick, go! Go, go, well, go Berwick, go! Well, Betty, if you paid admission to get in, I tell you, you're getting your money's worth. Go grab your extra nacho. That's it. Mm, nacho. Now I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> Yes, indeed. All tied up 2-2. That's Evan Crapel at the plate. Fouls that one, and it's 0-1 the count. He was hit by a pitch his last at bat. Here's the pitch, and that's a shot towards right field. Wow, what a catch. Absolutely. Boy, are we seeing some defense. That's Colton Lorette. This is, uh, I'm impressed <laughs> here the past couple of innings, especially. I mean, we're not just seeing some good play. We're seeing some good play. Oh, we got 23 for Burrow. 23 coming up. That is going to be is that Bella. He's going to be hitting. Yeah, that's Bella. Huh? Yep. I knew that. His brother, right, Brady, uh, last year, uh, true Bella. Sure was. That's, that's, that's something. Uh, two brothers both got state championship rings. Yeah, no kid. That's pretty good. Huh? And I'm like, I'm like Teddy. They do look alike. Yeah. You know they're gonna argue whose ring looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pitch, and that's gonna be outside. That's a strike. Okay. Oh, one the count. Bella up at the plate. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be hit towards third. Taking in, 
second. No. Another bad throw. Yeah, Bella wow. going to second. And he'll get the double. Yes. I guess Coach Artigo uh, felt something right. Put him in, he gets a double out of it. But I tell you what, been sometimes, several bad throws yeah. at first base this weekend. So well, sometimes you just go with your feel, huh? We back to one one hit in the outfield, wins the ball game. There's one out. A runner on second base. That's your winning run right there. All he's got to do is grab some grass. The pitch. Pretty and that's pitch. Be a strike. Nice pitch. Oh, on the count. Hang in there, folks. Thank you, Kenny. Appreciate it. All we, we got to find is a little piece of grass in the outfield. We try, Kenny. We don't always get it right, but we try. <laughs> well, Def, Kenny, we definitely appreciate your support, yeah, man. We really do. Absolutely. This is why we do it right here That's for the it. community. That's right. At, that and for moments like this. Exactly right. Woo. That's nice. a strike. One, two, the count. That's that's a uh, Beaudry. Eli up at the plate. Yep. One, two. Stick it in play, Eli. One out. Oh, oh, oh stuck oh, the bat out. Hey, it's gonna work though. Oh, it did. He's gonna That's come around. Yes. Bro, it's gonna yes. win the game. Yes. Yes. Ball game. Ball yes. game. Yes. Wow. It's over. <laughs> Berwick takes it. You know, Brian, when I saw the third baseman break towards shortstop, I knew he had third, but then when they missed the ball, I knew he wasn't going to stop. And all the way was a perfect play on Berwick's part. And, you know, I don't even know if a good throw to the plate gets him. Yeah, and we're just kind of watching the replay here as it'll be coming up. But, wow. Yeah. Congratulations to the Panthers. Absolutely. Boy, that was they'll, point, huh? they'll advance. They yep. sure will. They'll go to Caldwell, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Caldwell Pirates. Caldwell, so yeah, good so luck to sometime them. Sometime next week, not yeah. sure when. Up in Columbia. Yeah. But I tell you what, you couldn't have come down to anything closer to a coin flip. Yeah, I tell you, it's just a fantastic Man. series when you look at it. And, you know, hats off to Springfield because, man, I tell you what, they fought, they fought, they fought. They <laughs> had the lead many, many times, <laughs> and uh, just yeah. it just wasn't their time. I actually had the lead for most of the weekend. Yeah, sure did. Thank you very much, Miss Sandra Watson. She says, Berwick, good job, uh, guys. Enjoying your commentary. Of course, her husband, Mr. Cliff Watson. Yeah, that's right. Was our principal here. Yeah, sure was. Tell you what, what a great principal. We appreciate all the support from all of you guys in the community. We congratulate the Panthers and, of course, the Springfield Bulldogs. We want to wish them a safe drive home. Our final score, 3-2. We want to thank everyone here this afternoon for watching. And, uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. It, it has, has been fun. I, I'd say my biggest comment for this weekend, Brian, no quit attitude. No. By, by either team. Yep by either team. So we want to thank everyone for watching. Plus, we want to thank all of our fine sponsors as well, Brady B. And I missed one thing talking about Miss Watson. She was my fourth grade teacher. Just, what, a couple of years ago? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, Miss Watson. <laughs> we I, do. I think we'll have... We need to get her to retrain you every every how many years? Probably so. That's way, way, way too long ago. Brady was the first uh, uh, getting time out, I guess. Yeah, there you go. go. Yes, indeed. Hey, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Those include our title sponsors, State Farm Agents John Cart, Carol Fulson, and Dwayne Scott, A.J. Doman, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram, Awapaho, Letterbox Rentals, Bayou Bend Health System, Conrad Shipyards, Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, GJ Curbside, Halamar Shipyard, Intimore Incorporated, Oshner St. Mary Hospital, 
your local Taco Bell restaurants, Tesh Action Clinic, Thibodeau Regional Medical Center, Walk-On Sports Bistro in Thibodeau, Red Line Power Sports, St. Mary Golf and Country Club, and Bogey Free Golf, Hargrave Funeral Home, Game Day Pizza, Plain Sweep Janitorial, and the City of Burrick. That's right. I'm Brian Prudish along with... Robbie B Betty Bowen. And... Brady Borrell. And... Braden Borrell. There you go. Thanks a lot, guys. And thanks to everyone for watching. And you have been watching the State Farm High School Baseball Game of the Week on the KUKI Digital Video Network. Everyone have a great weekend. we got some cool weather. Enjoy it. Highs in the 60s tomorrow. Go out, enjoy yourself. I'll have to cut the grass. Uh, I might do some barbecuing. <laughs> you never know. Hello. Good night, everyone.